ML Sports Take here brought to you by Stanley Law Office's Chick-fil-A of Cicero and Clay and our great friends over at Camillus Golf Club. Aaron Judge hits number 61. Now there are two guys in American League history and Yankee history with 61 home runs, and it's Roger Maris and Aaron Judge. What a year. What a joy. What an unbelievable class act on and off the field this guy has been. Face of the Yankees, carrying himself well. Uh, he runs around the bases like it's just a normal home run most of the time uh, during this unbelievable quest. Um, I just loved how he's kept everything in. He's kept you know composure and all that. Did look like it was getting to him a little bit last night trying to get that 61st home run, but he did on just an absolute bullet to left field. Uh, there was no doubt about it. And not only is Aaron Judge in position here with seven games to go. The Yankees are off today, of course, before they welcome Baltimore into the Bronx tomorrow. Aaron Judge is in a very, 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 very rare spot here. It's not just about the home runs. The Triple Crown is still, in my opinion, a really, really big deal. Go look at how many guys have won it in the AL and in the NL. Miguel Cabrera won it, what, 10 years ago? That was the first Triple Crown since 1967 with Carl Yastrzemski. We still haven't had uh, a winner in the NL, I think, since Joe Medwick uh, with the Cardinals in the late 30s. So Aaron Judge is in a spot right now to make ridiculous history. Some people think this is the all-time home run record because of all the steroids from Sosa, McGuire, and Bonds following um, you know, the, the, the 61st by Roger. Um, but Aaron Judge is tied. These 61 is still a huge, huge deal, and it's still a huge number. 62 will be out, out of this world, and obviously we can assume here that Aaron Judge is playing clean and all the rest. I know that some people have popped up with those comments lately, but this guy's not only going for the all-time American League home run record, the all-time Yankee home run record, which means that you're ahead of Maris and Ruth, by the way, and guys like Gehrig and Mantle. I, I mean, you know, that's, that's heady stuff here. He's going for the triple crown. I mean, most RBI, most home runs, and the best batting average, which means that signifies the completeness of your game at the plate. This guy's been an unbelievable all-around player, all, all, all you know, just together anyway. Um, you know, when you think about it, I know there's been talk about he versus Shohei Otani for the MVP. To me, it, it just isn't close. I mean, I think Aaron Judge, you know, five-tool player, hits for average, hits for power, the arm, the glove. He runs the bases extremely well. And oh, by the way, he's played both right and center fields. And he's done it for the Yankees on a division champion. Oh, and by the way, there's more. Home run record, AL, Yankee home run record, triple crown. And you add to that the fact that there's extra pressure because you're in New York City and playing in that uniform as well. Uh, the ghosts of the past are definitely, uh, you know, way more, way more pre pre prevalent uh, for the Yankees than any other franchise. And it's just been, like I said, extremely fun to watch. By the way, Aaron Judge, if he plays the last seven games this year, he'll only miss four games this year. He's been ultra durable as well. We'll see what happens with this free agent uh, situation, the contract uh, situation upcoming. Uh, Aaron Judge obviously betting on himself. The Yankees foolishly went public and let people know what they offered him. He turned it down. He said, screw that. I'm going to bet on myself. Well, look what's happened. He's going to earn himself another $125 to $200 million dollars by betting on himself, whether that's in pinstripes or not. I don't know. Uh, the good is that when Aaron Judge is healthy, he's a major difference maker. You can't imagine the Yankees without him, the branding, the hitting, uh, the figure, the face, uh, all that stuff. However, uh, you know, early 30s, giving guys 8- to 10-year deals usually doesn't work. Uh, you don't want to give him a 10- and $400 million deal. By the same token, though, I land right in the middle, seeing both sides. Of course, he's been healthy and unhealthy half and half the time. Um, <clears throat> you know, half healthy, half not healthy during his career. And, you know, you have to keep in mind, though, uh, you know, that the Yankees just print money. And, oh, by the way, they're paying John Carlos Stanton $30 million a year and the Garrett Cole contract $324 million, which he's in the middle of, looks pretty bad right now. So if you're looking at it from that standpoint, give Aaron Judge whatever he wants. That's kind of, you know, that's been one of the arguments here with this discussion. But as far as the home runs, as far as the Triple Crown, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I'm 42 years old. I've been a baseball fan for 37 years. The true, true, true first um, really genuine World Series that I loved and understood was 1986, but I, I had followed the game you know, a little bit before that even and, and caught, caught hold of Don Mattingly and all the rest. Like I love baseball at a really young age. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen it as a fan covering the game. Uh, I've been around Cooperstown at the inductions, talking to people, and, you know, I... I, I 
I've never seen anything like it. That's all there is to it. ML Sports Take brought to you by Stanley Law Offices, Brian Conboy at Mass Mutual New York State, and our great friends at Welch & Company Jewelers. Go shop the showcase today at welchjewelers.com. Engagement rings, wedding rings, and a heck of a lot more. Bracelets, necklaces, watches, it's all there at welchjewelers.com. Welch & Company Jewelers, the official jewelry store of the ML Sports Platter. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.